one of the Kabbalists of the 16th century, Rabbi Moses Cotevero, pointed out, he recorded that the secrets of the Torah are revealed in the skipping of the letters. And this is one of the early allusions that caused scholars to start looking at this, where they've rediscovered things that were known to the early Kabbalists. And one of the many different forms, perhaps the least interesting of all the forms, but the one that's most popular today, is the equidistant letter sequence. What do I mean by that? Well, here's just a candidate sentence I've thrown on the screen to make a point. Rips is one of the, uh, the scientists in this area. Rips explained that each code is a case of adding every fourth letter to form a word. Now, if you take every fourth letter of this sample sentence, um, and you take every fourth letter, it spells out another message. Read the code. Now, this is just an example to demonstrate what an equidistant letter sequence of four could contain. It's possible to, con to put a message inside another message by dealing with an equidistant letter sequence. And uh, so... Now, one of the Kabbalistic discoveries that a guy by the name of Weissmandel discovered after World War I, between World, he lived between World War I and World War II, uh, and he uh, rediscovered something the Kabbalists had uh, dealt with. Uh, the, uh, if you, the word Torah is four letters in Hebrew, the equivalent of what we would call a T-O-R and H, a Tau, Vav, Resh, and He. And if you go to the first Tau, and uh, you count 49 letters, 7 squared, you get to a Vav. You again count 49 letters, you get to a resh. And you count another 49 letters, and you get a hey. And that happens to spell Torah. Bear in mind, they, as I say, they, they, we write backwards compared to them, but you get the idea. Okay, so um, you say, well, gee, uh, that's cute. Could be just an accident of circumstance. Yes, it could, I suppose. Um, let's take a look at Exodus. Same thing happens. You go to the first how, count 49 letters, you get a vav. Count 49 letters, you get a resh. Four, count 49 letters, you get a hey. And again, you spell Torah. Now, for it to happen twice that way starts to suggest somebody did it on purpose. Trying to do something like that on purpose turns out, by the way, to be far more difficult than it looks at first. Well, you go to, Ex you go to Leviticus and nothing happens. You feel a sense of relief, probably. If you go to Numbers, the same thing happens, but with a switch. It is spelled backwards. You go to Deuteronomy, the same equivalent thing happens backwards. And well, you, should, you take another look at Leviticus, and you, do, you don't use 49, you use 7, you discover at intervals of 7, you have the name of God, the, the yad heh vav -Heh. Now you stand back from this whole thing. In Exodus and Levi Genesis, it goes forward. In Numbers and Deuteronomy, it goes backwards. And the suggestion the Kabbalists will tell you is that the Torah always points to yad heh vav -Heh. So the one thing you can't deny here is the evidence of design. Somebody designed this package. And the more you study this package, the more you find laced all through it are evidences of very skillful design. And that's something that, uh, in my opinion, we, we owe a debt to the Kabbalists for because they're the ones that really uh, reveal this to us. And why you say, why 49? Well, of course, it's the square of seven. And there's the counting of the Omar in the Hebrew uh, uh, calendar. Uh, the uh, Rabbi Hirsch said that the the, uh, the, the, Jew, the Jews' catechism is his calendar. Feast of first fruits, first of weeks, and so forth. Uh, also, there's the prophetic genealogy in the book of Ruth. In Genesis 38, Judah and Tamar give birth to Perez and Zarak. Boaz descended from Perez. Uh, Boaz married Ruth, had a son named Obed. Obed had a son, Jesse, and the father of David. In Genesis 38, this is Genesis 38 in the days of Moses, these names are encrypted at 49 letter intervals in chronological order. Bear in mind, in the book of Ruth, which is the time of the judges, it mentions Boaz, Ruth, Obed, Jesse, David. Fine. But that's not even until Samuel. You haven't got to the monarchy yet. But go back to the books of Moses in Genesis 38. You can find the three letters that make up the name of Boaz at 49-letter intervals. You, you, you continue the 49-letter intervals. You find you have Ruth in 49-letter intervals. Continuing in that passage, 49-letter intervals, you have Obed, and then you have Yeshe, or Jesse, as we would call it. And then you have, at 49 letter intervals, the name of David. So what you have here is Boaz, Ruth, Obed, Jesse, David, each encrypted with an interval of 49, in chronological order. Now, the cynics will say, well, that's just all just an accident of statistical circumstance. I don't think so. <laughs>